Have you ever pondered the sustainability of our current behavior in space? This question is more relevant than ever as we witness an explosion of space activity. National governments and private companies alike are launching payloads into Earth's orbit at an unprecedented rate. This rapid pace of development however casts a long shadow. It's creating a growing cloud of space debris, from defunct satellites to fragments from collisions. As we barrel forward into the cosmos, we're leaving a trail of waste behind us. As we continue to advance in space exploration, the question of sustainability becomes increasingly crucial. A recent report from the European Space Agency, or ESA, brings this issue into stark focus. The report uncovers the escalating pace of space activity, driven not just by national governments but also by private companies. In the last year alone, over 2,400 new payloads were launched into Earth's orbit. However, this surge in activity is not without consequences. Satellites are increasingly performing collision avoidance maneuvers to dodge other satellites and space debris. It's a celestial ballet, with each new maneuver increasing the complexity of the dance. Worse still, the report warns of a looming Kessler syndrome. This is a scenario where the density of objects in orbit becomes so high that one collision could set off a cascade of further collisions. This domino effect could render certain low-Earth orbits uninhabitable, a frightening prospect indeed. Moreover, our planet is already shrouded in clouds of space debris. This celestial junkyard consists of defunct satellites, inactive spacecraft, and fragments from collisions and rocket launches. It's a stark reminder that our actions on Earth have far-reaching implications. The ESA report underscores the urgent need for better adherence to space debris mitigation measures. One such measure is ensuring that satellites deorbit or descend back to Earth within a defined time frame after their missions end. This is a crucial step towards creating a more sustainable space environment. While there have been some improvements, the report warns that there is still a significant amount of existing debris that poses a risk. So where does this leave us? We're in an era where the European Space Agency is leading the charge towards sustainable space behavior. They've launched initiatives like the Clear Space One mission, which is a pioneering effort in the realm of space debris removal. Think of it as a celestial cleanup crew, tasked with the all-important mission to secure the safety of valuable low-Earth orbits. But it's not just about cleaning up what's already out there. It's also about what we're putting into space from this point forward. Every satellite we launch needs to have a clear end-of-life plan. That means ensuring that satellites deorbit or come back down to Earth within a defined time frame after their missions end. At the end of the day, it's all about fostering a culture of responsibility, because every piece of debris we leave behind in space isn't just a missed opportunity for sustainable behavior, it's a potential threat to future space missions and the long-term habitability of our orbits. The time to act is now. Support sustainable space behavior, because the future of our exploration and use of space depends on it. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay in touch with the latest in science.